Lakeville provides us with another rich history moment as we take a look at the bell that once alerted residents about area fires. In the late 18 and early 1900s, fires would frequently reduce homes, businesses, and other buildings to rubble. But that did not stop area residents from attempting to fight these fires. In those early days, there were no pagers, telephones, or even electricity to call residents into action to help fight fires. Lakeville Fire Captain Scott Bacco shares the rich history of how people were alerted to emergencies, including the use of the Lakeville Fire Department's fire bell. In the 1800s, the more or less the general public was on the fire department a lot um, and there was a night watchman that would take turns and walk up and down the main streets of these towns and if they reported fires or anything else going on that, um, that was abnormal they would alert the townspeople with different devices such as a uh, wooden clacker like this, different types of bells, um, speaking instruments for uh, like a megaphone or something to be able to yell um, and they would alert the townspeople that there was a fire and the townspeople, whoever could come out, would come out, and that's where you hear the term bucket brigade from, is that everybody would have a bucket in their home uh, with their name on it, different types of art on it if they wanted to get really fancy with their buckets, and the buckets would, if they couldn't make it to the fire, they would throw the buckets out into the street, and people would just pick up the buckets, and they would go to the fire, and that's where you got your bucket brigades, as people would form a line and fill the buckets with water and try to douse the fire with these buckets. Um, so that's kind of before the fire departments were actually developed. Um, everybody kind of participated until the funding could come around or the idea of a, bigger, a big enough town where they could have a fire department. Uh, the township of Lakeville in the late 1800s, I'm sure uh, at the time funding or money wasn't an overly abundant thing, so they had to uh, definitely um, do a lot of uh, soliciting or putting money together from different ways or organizations that uh, to, to purchase a bell and the decision was finally made in 1901 to purchase a bell to put in the tower at the uh, new fire station in downtown Lakeville um, and by it wasn't by any means a fancy bell or a um, anything special but something that would make noise and would serve the purpose of the needs of the people. The bell was you know the early way of alerting the fire department or the people that there was a fire um, and it was uh, a way that if through verbal communication that somebody saw fires, you know, and whoever could get down to the station the soonest and ring the bell would alert the people of the fire department to come to the fire station, that there was a fire, go to the house where there's a fire, um, come get the equipment. Um, it's kind of the, the technology from the early days that the, the bell was kind of the, the loudest thing you could, you know, develop to, to be able to alert these people. This bell was accessible by anyone that, that could get there to ring it, because being that the rope was hanging right inside the door, that there wasn't security issues as there is today. Um, the building was left open, the city hall was there, the police station was there, um, that anybody could go in there and pull that rope to make sure they alerted people, that, you know, the sooner the better. And once the bell, um, the technology of electricity um, came around, then there's obviously things uh, like sirens, air raid sirens that you've heard before that uh, were installed on the fire stations and, and from that way, it's still the same thing. Somebody would have to come down to the station and, and instead of pulling the rope and ringing the bell, that you would push the button and then uh, sound the siren. So once again, the people would, the siren would be able to be heard farther, louder. Um, so they would come down to the fire station, once again, get the equipment, go do the job they needed to do. The bell was, uh, in the tower in the fire station in downtown Lakeville. And in 1964, the building was sold and the Lakeville Fire Department moved to its newer location on 207th Street, a uh, bigger, more modern facility that would house more equipment. Um, the, the owner, Dick Kephart, who purchased the building, um, when he, in turn, went to sell the building years later, the, he knew the historical um, importance of the bell so he removed the bell and put the bell in his garage. So this bell sat for uh, decades, years, without ever being rung, um, doing anything. Um, and when uh, the current fire station that we're in, Fire Station 1, uh, was renovated in 1995, they kind of did a replication of the bell tower that is in downtown Lakeville. And the bell was put back in the tower for historical significance to uh, kind of keep the historical factor of the Lakeville Fire Department going.
Uh, the bell is still in good structural condition. Um, I believe the last time that the bell was rung for any significant reason was uh, for the rededication ceremony of the fire station when it was remodeled, um, that they did ring the bell to, to, um, to show that the building was done and uh, just kind of a ceremonial purpose. Uh, the bell hasn't been rung for anything else or doesn't get rung on a weekly basis or anything. It's, it's just kind of up there, but the rope still hangs inside the station. It is ringable, um, and hopefully somewhere in the, near, in the future we'll use it uh, for some significant reason to show you know, some historical value and that it's there and there's a reason that it is there.